Hey everyone, welcome back to Curious Bites. If you are starting your 2026 cake preparation now, in June or July, and wondering, can I still get a top rank? Let me tell you, the answer is absolutely yes. Now, if you have already started your gate preparation, you can watch my gate preparation strategy. The link of the video I'll attach in the description box below. The strategy in that video is based on when you start preparing around March. It will help you refine your current approach based on the tips which worked for me. And if you haven't started yet, don't panic. This video is your exact roadmap to make the most of the time which is left. This plan is not just based on my own experience, but also on insights from other people who got top ranks in GATE exam in limited time. I have refined everything into a seven month plan, which is realistic, focused and actually works. But if you stick to it, it might look intense, it might look ideal. But remember, the biggest regret in life is not about not getting good results, but about not trying your 100% when you had the chance. Before we move on to the plan, one important thing, if you are thinking of preparing for GATE, make one promise to yourself. You will not leave it in between. Not after two weeks, not after two months, not when it feels hard. In fact, I'll say this. Watch the rest of the video only if you have decided that you will give your 100% to GATE and you will prepare till the end. Because there's no point of spending time in strategies and plans if you are going to quit it halfway. If you are still with me and serious about it, let's dive in. In the first two months, that is July and August, start with programming data structures, algorithms, and digital logic. These are logical core subjects, the perfect place to start. Not too heavy, but extremely important. And they'll shape your problem solving mindset and build your confidence early on. Remember, the goal here is not speed, but consistency. Start with three to four hours daily. Don't aim for a 10 hour day from the start. It will lead to a burnout. Just show up daily, for three to four hours and build momentum. From my journey, it took me 1.5 months to build that momentum. So this is the time when we focus on consistency. The ongoing strategy from July to December will be to keep solving previous year questions, keep giving a few topic tests and subject tests, and keep revising what you have studied and making short notes in parallel. Now, how to revise? Quickly review whatever you studied the previous day, highlight the important points and note down whatever is confusing for you. Along with this, at the end of each week, review whatever you studied the previous week. And while doing this, make short notes of whatever has been studied. In short notes, you should mention important concepts, points to remember and things you think you can forget. Talking about engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics, these subjects you should study throughout from July to December. Even one hour daily is sufficient, just keep doing them regularly. Now let's move to September and October. This is the time when you pick up the pace. The subjects you should cover in these two months are computer organization, computer network and operating system. These aren't difficult, but they take time to settle in your brain. You might feel that you're not understanding anything or you're forgetting everything, but that's not the case. Everything will come back to you during revision. So stick to the plan and finish these subjects by October. The ongoing strategy still remains the same. Continue solving previous year questions, some subject tests, some topic tests. Revise subjects weekly and daily and keep building short notes. At this stage, you have to aim to give eight to nine hours per day. What are you supposed to do in these hours? Four to five hours should be dedicated to the ongoing subject, including the daily and weekly revision of the ongoing subject. One hour should be dedicated to the practice of ongoing subject, giving some topic tests, subject tests for the subject. 
two hours should be dedicated to revisit the older subjects. All the pending short notes which you have not yet made, all the topics which you have not yet revised of the subjects you have previously covered, that should be covered in these two hours. And finally, one hour of engineering mathematics or discrete mathematics. Now, if you've followed the plan till now, by the end of October, you have completed about 50 to 60% of your GATE syllabus. This is the perfect time to start giving full length mock tests. Start now so that by January you are completely comfortable with the GATE exam format. Now how to give mocks? Attempt the test at a full stretch distraction free. It's okay to skip the questions which you of the topics which you have not yet covered and it's okay to score low in the start. But this is the time when you start giving full length mock tests, not when your entire syllabus is completed. The goal of giving these tests is to build accuracy, time management and test taking mindset. Just give one mock test per week and analyze your attempt thoroughly. If you have sat for three hours for a test, it will take two to three hours to analyze that test. Now in November and December, we'll complete the entire syllabus. The leftover subjects are databases, theory of computation and compiler design. These are the final subjects and the sooner you complete them, the more time you'll get for revision. Ongoing strategy still continues. Continue solving previous year questions, subject test, topic test. Another thing added to your routine in November and December is to give weekly full length mock test and analyze those tests. While analyzing the test, you should see where you did wrong. If it is a conceptual mistake, you should revisit that topic then and there and clear all your doubts. If it is a silly mistake, you should note it down in your head and in a notebook so that you don't repeat it again. Even in November and December, you should give eight to nine hours per day for your preparation. By December, the syllabus is complete. Now in January, it's time to revise. No new learnings, only polishing what you already know. And revision is the phase where toppers are made. Revise every subject from your short notes and now you should be giving two to three mock tests per week. Also analyze your mock test thoroughly. Analyze your conceptual mistakes, your silly mistakes and also focus on your time management. Don't chase new content in January. You already know what you need. Now it's about only sharpening it. In the last 4-5 days, you should not overdo mock tests. You should only read the things to remember and important formulas. So that was a 7 month roadmap to crack gate exam with a very good rank. I know this roadmap might sound overwhelming, but it works and you can do it. Even if things don't go perfectly according to the roadmap every week, don't stop because the biggest regret isn't failing. It's about not trying. So go all in, stick to the timeline. And remember, why aim low when we are capable of aiming higher? Drop a fire emoji in the comments if you are ready to give your 100% for GATE 2026. And that is it for today.